Hey everyone, Phoenix here. Today we have some exciting news and you may have noticed it yourself if you opened up your battle.net launcher. Diablo 4 release date has been announced June 6th, 2023. Seven months away, I guess. Uh, recording here in December 2022. And we also got some pricing information, pre-order information, and all that that we're going to go through. Super exciting. We've got three different prices for Diablo 4, which is a standard edition at $70.00 a digital deluxe edition at $90, and an ultimate edition at $100, which is pretty steep pricing, but pricing that we kind of knew or expected. Pretty steep considering there's going to be a cash shop in the game for a full box price. So we're going to go through what we get. Here's the release date officially announced by Blizzard. So if you get the standard edition, you get Diablo 4, you get open beta early access, you get a mount, uh, you get some things for other games, which Blizzard has always done. You get things for Diablo 3, World of Warcraft, Diablo Immortal. If you pre-purchase the game, I think it's down here, you get the open beta access and the light bearer mount. So that's not necessarily just the standard edition. That is for pre-purchasing. If you get the digital deluxe edition for that extra $20, what you're going to get is up to four days early access to Diablo 4. You're going to get a temptation mount, which I'm not sure exactly what that is, but presumably an extra mount for Diablo 4. Hellborn Carapace mount armor, which sounds really cool, actually. Premium seasonal battle pass unlocks. I don't know if those things are worth $20, like in the in-game shop after the game drops, or maybe you just won't be able to get them except by uh, getting this digital deluxe edition. And then the Ultimate Edition is going to give you some skips on your Battle Pass. So you're going to unlock the 20 tier skips and cosmetics. I'm not, I don't know what that means because I haven't seen the Battle Pass. But to me, skipping... That's like skipping playing part of the game. So I mean, maybe you'd want that. I don't know. And then you get a Wings of the Creator emote, which is exclusive to this. Now they do have some caveats with this stuff. And specifically what I want to look at is this open beta early access caveat. So if you come back up here, subject to change, and its minimum duration is two days of open beta. If playing two days of the open beta is worth it to you, then pre-purchasing the game is definitely going to be something you want to do. The last thing that I want to talk Talk about is this four days early access to Diablo 4. Now we kind of knew that this was coming because of all the surveys that Blizzard sent out, um, some of the leaks and rumors, but I'm still kind of disappointed because for a game like this, buying the game for $70 and not getting to play it when it comes out, like I know it says it comes out on June 6th, but if you, if you don't get the digital deluxe edition or the ultimate edition people are going to be playing this game for four days before you get access to it so it really comes out on june 2nd if you can't afford it it comes out on june 6th i kind of i kind of don't like that especially for an online somewhat mmo style game to not let everyone in at the same time with trading the economy you're you're missing out significantly um i understand this isn't like a season yet it is technically like season one or season zero, maybe you want to call it. And to start season zero four days late, it's going to put you behind if you don't pay up that 20 bucks. I haven't decided which version I'm going to get if I want to discourage this behavior and not give them my extra $20 or if I really want to play four days early. It's a really tough choice and I'm not sure what to do about it. In my gut, feel like I'm going to give them my money and play for those four days. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's not the future of gaming, but I think it's already here. I guess we'll see how the rest of the community reacts. And yeah, all hell breaks loose on 6-6-2023. Super exciting to have an actual final Blizzard announced release date. Very excited for Diablo 4. Let me know what you think about all this pricing in the comments. Will you be buying the Deluxe Edition, the Ultimate Edition? Or are you going to stick with the Standard Edition box price of $70? And what do you think I should do? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. We're approaching 1,000 subscribers and really want to get there. So thanks again. Bye.